So good morning, all. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. In the first class, in the morning section, uh, we have discussed. We have discussed the basic point regarding what? Which topic? Data visualization, isn't it? So in this chapter, we will be discussing about data visualization, uh, visualization using pipe flow. So we have discussed, we have gone through some of the examples related to that, isn't it? We have gone through the concept data. After that, what is data visualization? It refers to the graphical or visual representation of information using any elements such as charts, graph, and map, isn't it? Now, after that, we have discussed about floating. Isn't it? So what is floating? It means that generating graphs from available data. And we have gone through the purpose of this concept, right? After that, now we are going to continue. See, in Python, Python provides various libraries to develop this graph. Okay, so in this chapter, we will be going to learn to develop graph using various libraries provided by Python. Okay, so there are multiple tools available for performing visualization in data science. In Python, we have math or float lib. Okay, so in Python, we can use exclusive libraries for visualization, commonly known as math plot lib. Please do write. So this is the library which has been used for visualization. In this chapter, we are going to learn about math plot lib math plot lib okay so this is the whole package so in this chapter we will be going to learn about this library math plot lib at the bottom you can see math plot lib okay so what is that it is a 2D, two-dimensional floating library that help us to, that, help in, that helps in visualizing figures. So what is Matplotlib? It is a 2D, two-dimensional floating library. Okay, it is a high quality plotting library of Python. Okay, and it is free and easy for data visualization. So Math plot lib is a whole package or it is a 2d floating library which helps in visualizing figures okay so it has been used in python as it is very free and easy for data visualization for representing the data using different elements like charts floats is that clear 2d stands for d stands for dimension you know x and y right So what is Matplotlib? It is a 2D floating library that helps in visualizing figures. Is that okay? Say yes or no, my dears. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so there are different libraries in Python. This is one of the library that we are going to learn in this chapter, okay? So moving to the next slide. So as I told you, it is very easy to learn and understand this. Okay, when you when you do the practical of this uh, chapter, you will get to know about that. Then you can save these images in several formats. Okay, then Matplotlib is the whole Python package which has been used to create 2D graphs or float using Python scripts. So basically what is a matplotlib? It is a Python package. Actually, there are different types of libraries in the Python. It is one of the library which has been used to create 2D graphs, okay, which is used to create 2D graphs or floats by simply using Python script. I think he has started writing programs, isn't it? Yes, so using that Python script, you can use this. So next is pipe float. It is a module. It is a part of the math plot lib which supports a wide variety of graphs and floats, namely histogram. You have 
heard, you have learned about histogram, bar charts in your max, isn't it? So what is matplotlib? It is a package and type load, it is a module in that matplotlib. So math, what is matplotlib? It is a package in the Python. And what about pipeload? It is a module. It is a part of that. It is a part of matplotlib. So what is a module? What is a module? You have heard, we have come across this word. You have heard this word many times. What is a module? What is a module? Module. There are different modules in your text, isn't it? So what is that? Hmm? What is that? What is a module? In your text, you have heard the word module, isn't it? which means that your whole text has been divided into small, small parts, isn't it? Right? Yes. So while working, while creating a program, actually a program is very large, isn't it? It's very complex. So it has been divided into small, small parts or it has been divided into small, small files. This files is known as module. Is that clear? Modules. In your text, you have modules, isn't it? One, one chapter, isn't it? Yes. So your text has been divided into small, small units. At least you have heard the word unit, right? Actually, it does the same, but the and that text has been divided into small, small parts. That part is known as unit. Like that, a large program has been divided into small files of functions that perform specific tasks. That task is known as module, okay? So here, important word is math plot lip and another one is pipe load. So math plot lib is the package which has been provided in the Python and pipe load is a plotting library used for 2D graphics in Python language. It is a pipe load is a plotting, plotting library. It is a plotting library which has been used for 2D graphics, which has been used for 2D graphics. Okay. See, please do note this point. What is, uh, what is matplotlib? It is a Python 2D floating library, which, is, which produces quality figures. Okay, so what is matplotlib? It is a Python 2D floating library. It is a two dimension uh, floating library, which is used to produce a quality figures. And what about pipeplot? It is a module of, it is a module of this library. Which is the library matplotlib or package which contains a collection of methods which allow users to create 2D plots and graph easily and interactively. We know the importance of a graph, isn't it? We know the importance of a floating. We know the purpose of the floating. So using this, we can do that. So one question is that what is, which is the module of matplotlib? It is pipeplot. Please do write this. So pipeload is a module of matplotlib library, which contains a collection of methods, which contains, Ashish, right? Which contains a collection of methods, which allows users to create 2D plot and graph easily and interactively so that others can understand the concept. So matplotlib is a Python 2D plotting library, or we can say that package. So Pipeload is a module in that library or in that package. It is a part of matplotlib library or package. Which help us to create 2D plots and graph. 2D means two dimensional. It has X axis and Y axis, isn't it? So please do write this. What is the purpose of matplotlib? It is a module. It is a whole package. It is a whole package.
which has been provided, which has been included in Python, which is used for constructing 2D plotting, which produces quality figures, isn't it? Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so next, what is a plot then? It is a graphical representation technique for representing a data. Okay, so plot is the graphical representation of our data. It can be graph. It is usually been represented as a graph. It shows the relation between two or more variables, isn't it? When we draw a graph, it shows a relation between two or more variables. You can come across, you have seen different types of graph, isn't it? So what is a plot? It is a graphical representation technique for representing a data, which shows a relationship. Usually we draw a graph to show the relationship, isn't it? When, while coming to the sports, to show their, uh, to show their scoring, which all two variables are being used? Two teams' data have been used, isn't it? To show their growth, isn't it? Yes, boys? And girls also used to watch cricket, I think so. Yes? During this over, this team was like this, another team was like this, you used to draw this graph, isn't it? This one like, yes? No? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So it shows a relationship, isn't it? Like that, upload is a graphical representation technique for representing a data, which shows the relationship between two or more variables. Is that clear? Yes. So next is NumPy. Next concept is NumPy. Please do write. Next concept is NumPy. It is a Python library used for working with arrays. What is array? What is array? I have told that it is in Python library, which is used for working with arrays. What is array? Mm -mm. What is array? <laughs> you have not heard this word before? Array. Not Hindi array, okay. What is array? Data types of same type. Okay, data types of same type. For example, roll number. Isn't it? It is a same type. It shows the same type of value. It shows the same type of data. So array means a collection of data of same type. Collection of data of same type. Okay, so it is another library which helps in the process of floating graphs and charts using pyplot. Okay, so NumY is the another library which helps in the process of floating graphs and charts. So NumPy stands for numerical Python. So NumPy stands for numerical Python. Okay, it has been used by developers for what operations? For doing mathematical and logical operations on arrays and operations related to linear algebra. It has been used for doing operations related to numbers, numerals, isn't it? For, so it does the operation related to array. So NumPy stands for numerical Python. Please do write Ashish. NumPy stands for numerical Python and using NumPy, a developer can perform the following functions, following operations. So this is another library which helps in the process of floating graphs, charts, Okay, so NumPy, so another library which helps in the process of floating graphs starts using PyPlot is NumPy. Okay, so it is NumPy stands for numerical Python. So 
the developers use this numpy for the following operation for doing the following operations for doing the following operations when you do the program you will get the correct concept regarding this okay is it over no ma'am okay right So this is NumPy stands for numerical Python. Okay, it is another library, which is which help in the process of floating data or charts. Okay, yes. So to install this NumPy, we can install this NumPy using the popular Python package, which is a popular Python package installer pip. Please do right. So to install this, we want a popular Python package installer, which is pip. Okay. So in the command prompt, you have to type like this to install this. Pip install numpy. Pip install numpy. So we can install numpy using the popular Python package installer pip. Okay. So we have to type the command. You have to type the following command and the command prop and the command prompt at the pip space install space numpy. So this is the following method through which we can install this. Is it okay? After this, NumPy will be installed in your system. Okay, well, uh, your video is off. Please switch on your video. Please do switch on your video. Yes. So here you can see different types of visualization, isn't it? Here you can see different types of visualization. These are the different types of visualization available in math plot clip. Please do write this. So when we start the coding, we are going to construct this using this program. So here there are different types of visualizations which has been available in math plot clip. I hope you have noted this, isn't it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So, what are the topics that we have covered? So, what are things that we have covered today? Not this period. Today. I want each and everyone to answer to my question. So, starting from Anthony. Yes, Anthony. A mad plot clip. From the starting, from the beginning. Why? And connection problem. Connection problem. Okay, then we uh, we can revise from the starting. After that, I will ask the same question. Okay. At that time, you don't say like this. So our chapter is about data visualization using PyPlot, isn't it? So Anthony. For Antony, it is for Antony, not for others. Antony, please do read this and 
Tell me the feedback. Give me the feedback regarding this. Read fast. We have no. Uh, a broad highway designed for a high specific. Not to read. I want the content from this. The big. What? Brief. You just read this and let me know what you have understood from this para. <laughs> Did you get any answer? Did you get any idea? It will take time, isn't it? Then what about this? Is... We'll get more information, isn't it? When you look at this picture. Yes? Uh, yes, ma'am. So can you just connect this concept with our chapter? So our chapter is about? Visualization. Yes, which means that? Visualization of that. Yes. So you have heard this word, isn't it? A picture is worth a thousand words, which means that, what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this? <laughs> communication. Ah, communication is easy through pictures, isn't it? You have seen a para, isn't it? You have seen a passage regarding that route and track, isn't it? But it was easier for you to express that Concept with the help of that figure, right? Right, Anthony? Uh, yes, ma'am. Others, please do learn the definitions because I'm going to ask the each and every definition that we have learned today. So this image and visuals are a powerful form of communication. You know that. We have gone through many examples in the morning session, isn't that? Isn't it? So visualization helps to for effective communication, which help us to convey our information to other users. So data is the, what is data? Raw facts and figures, isn't it? So most of the companies are working with the data. So these data can be represented using different visuals, right? We have gone through some of the example. Grishma, can you just explain? Yes, we are working. Yes, we are. See, uh, in case of sports, a particular time, yeah. In a particular match, they are just dealing with many data. So that, that has been represented in what form? In written or in graphical form or in visual? Graphical form or visual form. Yes. Why? Because it is easier for us, isn't it? It is easier for the audience to read, right? That is the main reason we are using this method. So this is one of the example. Anthony, please uh, have a look at this. This graph gives you a complete information about the student's vote for their favorite subject, isn't it? If I write in the form of lines, it will be difficult for you to know, isn't it? But while looking at this figure, you will get a brief description. You will get a correct information about this concept. Isn't it, Anthony? Yes? Uh, yes, ma'am. So, which subject is having the highest vote then? Science. Science. So this is the main definition, please learn this. So data visualization basically refers to the graphical or visual representation of information that data using, which are the elements? Graph, charts, and maps. Learn, learn, data visualization basically refers to the graphical or visual representation using the elements like charts, graph, and map. Okay, here you can see some of the examples for that. No one should say that I didn't get any concept because we are repeating the same con uh, concept again and again so that you will get, you can get the basic concept. Next is floating. Floating means here you can get the def you will get the definition. It means generating graphs from available data. Generating graphs that is what is known as floating. Okay, so what are the different? What is the purpose of floating? It will help us to understand the data, isn't it? Using graph pattern in data can be understood easily. Next, large data can be easily represented using small graph, right? 
and for decision making it is it plays an important role and we can summarize the concept using this isn't it we can represent the same data in different types of graph if i give you some data and if i told you to represent that some uh, some will be using line chart or some will be using different isn't it it differs but this a concept will be same next the chance of the occurrence of the error or mistake is less in this case right so since python provides various libraries to develop graph from a large data set we can develop many type of graph so here in this chapter we are going to deal with matplotlib so in python we can use this library for visualization so which library is been used now there are different libraries but to uh, in this chapter we are going to deal with matplotlib this is the library which is been used for visualization so coming to the concept again so matplotlib as we have told that it is a library which is used for visualization it is a 2d plotting library that help in visualizing figures okay it provides high quality plotting library and it has been used in python as it is free and easy to understand okay this free and easy library for data visualization then we have learned that we can save our images in several format in several output formats and when we are comparing matplotlib and pyplot we can see that pyplot in math uh, matplotlib is a package in the python and pyplot is a module in that package okay so matplotlib is the whole python package which has been used to create 2d graph and plot by using python script while coming to the pyplot it is a module in that library or it is a module in that package which supports a wide variety of graphs and plots then this is the main definition for that matplotlib is a python 2d plotting library which produces quality figures and pyplot is a module of matplotlib library containing collections of methods which allows a user to create 2d plots or graphs easily and interactively then what is a plot simple definition for a plot it is a graphical representation in every definition you will get to hear the word graphical representation isn't it for representing a data we usually use graph it shows the relation it shows the relation between two or more variables the numpy what is numpy it is a library used for working with arrays library used for working with arrays then we have learned that it stands for numerical python numpy stands for numerical python and another library which helps in the process of plotting graph charts using pi uh, plot is numpy this is all about the theory theory related to this chapter okay then to install numpy we are using popular python package installer which is pip p i p and if you want to install this you have to write the command which is the command which you have to write in the command prompt it is pip space install space numpy then here you can see one example for the visualization these are the different types of visualization which has been available in matplotlib okay okay so what is data visualization to my, my first question is to amal yes samal answer amal raj what is data visualization what 
what is data visualization? First, you just go through your note. After that, try to answer. Hmm. Open. Others, please go through it. So this concept visualization of data has been used in different fields like science, then health, finance. Okay, in that years, visualization, the concept visualization was very important because they are dealing with a lot of data. I mean, are you ready? Yes, try to answer, yeah. Repeat. Don't get tensed. Relax and try to tell the answer. Your voice is breaking. Hmm. I think you please uh, offer your video after that you try to answer. I think your voice will be clear. Tell the answer, repeat. Hmm. 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 You are trying to tell something, but your voice is not clear. Okay. It's Anju, right? Yes. yes. Can you just uh, explain about data visualization? Data visualization is a mm. graphic presentation of information using elements mm. like chart graphs. This is a tool by looking at your node, isn't it? Now close your node. Some more. Hmm. I know that you are. I was going there. Yes. Now show me your face properly up first. Let me see you. Let me see you how handsome you are. After that, yeah. Try. Now, tell me the answer. That I should like to say, that particular presentation of information using mm -hmm. elements like graphs, chart. Okay. So I would like Hanna, can you just uh, answer to my uh, question? What is data visualization? That is, uh, that is, uh, Hmm. Hmm. Oh, breaking. Okay. Anthony, what is math plot lib? I think it's a two D Python. Library. Which produces quality is I think it will be better if you hold your book like this and read. Uh, Matt Plotlib is a 2 Python library which, is, mm -hmm. uh, which produces quality videos. <laughs> okay. Uh, Raina, repeat uh, answer to my the same uh, answer to the question. Same question. Matt Plotlib. It is very easy to learn and understand. What is that? It is a Python, 2D. That uh, is floating. Floating. Library. Graph. Hmm. Library. library. It is not a graph, it is a library. library. Okay. Yes. So same question to Vidu. Can you just answer to my question? What is that? The Python library to create 2D, uh, 2D graphs using Python script. Hmm. Okay. So, Sneha, what is floating? Or what is a float? Uh, it is a graphical re uh, representation technique um, mm -hmm. for representing a data which shows a relationship with two or more uh, variables. Okay. 
So next, Krishma. What is the importance of floating? It is pretty easy to understand. Mm -hmm. um, large data can be represented easily. Mm -hmm. It makes comparative analysis easy. Um, less chance of errors and mistakes. Okay, very good. Excellent. I didn't expect this much line from you. <laughs> anyway, good. Uh, next, is there anyone left who didn't get any chance and who is sad? Saying that I didn't get any chance. Uh -huh. Ashish, right? Yeah. <laughs> so your question is simple question. What is um, data visualization? Visual representation of information. Hmm. Using? Uh, graphs, charts, etc. Okay. okay, very good. Mohammed Irfan, I think he is left, right? Others got the chance. Meghna, I think you didn't get the chance, right? No. Yes, Mohammed Irfan? Yes, ma'am. Summarize the topics. First, you please on your video. No, no, no. It's an intellectual field. Okay, then tell me the answer. Summarize the topics, my dear, that we have learned today. I think you have. That visualization. Purpose of floating. Hmm. Look at your note first. Then read. You will get a correct clue. Yes, Meghna. What is pipe float? Pipe float is a modeling mad mad float library. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has of methods and mm -hmm. it can create a tutorial mm -hmm. easy and practical. Okay, excellent. So I think you all are okay with this concept. So that's all for today. Bye. Thank you.